Hey friends, guess where I'm at? You said it friends. I am at the yard sales friends this morning. I am so happy that you are here and I'm so excited for today's video. I got lots of homemaking motivation going on here my friends. But first I wanted to treat myself to come out and see what uh, treasures we come across my friends. You all know that I love thrifting yard sales and things like that friends because you never know what you're going to come across i am so glad i was able to film for a bit before um there was a lot more people but i ended up getting also breakfast for hubby and i i always love to bring him back a treat we really enjoy spending time in the morning on his day off on saturday and this is what i ended up purchasing for only a dollar this is a cute little vintage wall frame uh, from home and tears i believe only paid a dollar for it my friends and this cute little sign um i ended up finding this uh footage in my phone so i thought i'd just go ahead and uh voice over it and share it with you guys since i did forget about it but i thought it was a very good one to uh include and share with you all um here i'm just warming up some rice and uh this like meat of res like a beef stew soup that i had made for the fan was so delicious and especially when it's left over like this you let it sit and marinate for a few days and oh my goodness it's better than the first day you really make it it was so good so satisfying and my family love this i remember they've uh, served food like this when you would go to a mexican wedding uh bautizo quinceañera things like that those were from my earlier ages friends when i would go it's been a long long minute that i've gone to a wedding a quinceañera a mexican party in general my friends but i did want to go ahead and voice over this video and share with you like i said it was too good not to share with because i really enjoyed making this video and so here you see all nicely broken the meat into small pieces oh my goodness it was so fire i'm so ready to go ahead and make some more again like i said my family really loves it the only thing that's missing is some uh pico de gallo some lemon but it's all good it was good friends so now i'm just putting all these dishes away that are washed um, so I will be playing some music. I hope you enjoy this video, friends. So friends I'm showing you now that I washed the ones that were here the dirty ones and I also wanted to share look at these guayabas my goodness Raquel ended up blessing me with this big bag full of guayabas I just love them they were so sweet and they're also very good for digestive um, here I'm just showing you where I ended up put, putting the sign and then uh, these cute little decor this is the way i had it before my friends like i said this is an older footage that i ended up finding in my phone and i just decided to share it with you all but yeah friends i thought this was cute as well but like i mentioned i do have like a ocd oc thingy friends so thought i let you know <laughs> So my friends here I'm just showing you around my uh, all fall decorations. I'm really enjoying them my friends. Bring me so much peace and um, just makes my home feel nice and warm and cozy. All these things I've picked up from either a thrift store or a yard sale or the flea market. And here I'm just giving you a look how my new wall painting looks on the wall. I think it looks adorable. It completes my 
little kitchen area and here is a tear tray that I forgot to share with you guys a while back that I picked up at a flea market for only five dollars very solid sturdy and these things are crazy expensive in my opinion but I was glad to pick this one up for only five dollars on affordable budget and it's about that time friends to pull out my crayons colored pencils and coloring book I just love to color and um, it de-stresses anti-stress me um, but I really enjoy these seasonal coloring books and yes these are kids coloring books I really enjoy these over any adult coloring books just because I feel in my opinion that um, coloring books for adults have a lot more like uh, pictures and things like that smaller and that really causes me an anxiety friends so I just try to stick larger prints I, those I really do enjoy but this is so fun and um, I like to do this every so often when I am bored as a hobby um, it really blesses me and I really truly enjoy that and with that being said, I would like to also go, when I remember, to pick another one up at Dollar Tree, another coloring book, because this is the only uh, Halloween one that I got. So having a couple of more like this will be fun and um, something different besides just always doing the same coloring book. But it is fine. I'm working with what I have, but just for me to keep in mind... And to remember uh, to pick up a couple of more would be really nice as well for uh, when I want to color with my kids and stuff. Um, but yeah, friends, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I am so glad that I was able to do voiceover on this. Um, and I didn't want it to go to waste, this footage, because I did have uh, filmed it for you all. And um, I'm so glad I was able to voice over. My friends, you know, I... Uh, like to um share with you guys all my uh days i really hope you enjoyed today's video and my friends thank you so much for spending time out of your day to be here with me and spend some time god bless you my friends and we will see you on the next one